All right, let's go. Yeah. A lot of news. Before I get to that, I just want to give a shout out to my friend. He was here last week. Killer Mike won three Grammys. There was a. Oh yeah, and he got into a fight. A, and then he was arrested at the Grammys. <laughs> the Super Bowl this Sunday, and it's going to be a record number, they say, of women watching. And they're really leaning into the woman audience uh, this year. To, <laughs> this year. They, they're going to have the refs bring up penalties that happened 10 games ago. Oh, my God. <laughs> the issue I was hoping we wouldn't have to be talking about at this point, but of course we do. But you know, I know what you know what I'm... Biden's brain. Uh, oh. Well, and people are saying, why can't he even do the Super Bowl interview? It's not a tough... We're not asking him to go on Dancing with the Stars. You know? <laughs> okay. It'll probably be a disaster, that's why. <laughs> Remember the document scandal? Trump had his documents by the toilet. And <laughs> in one week, first he mixed up <laughs> French President Macron with former President Mitterrand, who died in 1996. Wow. He mixed up who the president of Egypt is, Al-Sisi, and said oh. he was the president of Mexico. <laughs> and the memes came like... This, you know, the problem I find on the left is that you're not allowed to be happy about progress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think many people notice this with the election of Barack Obama, Two years before there you happened, go. anyone you asked would say, no, there's no way he'll get elected. The country's too racist. That model was falsified when he won resounding victories twice in a row, but people didn't update the model and say, well, maybe that's meaningful. They immediately pivoted to saying, well, actually, that thing we thought was impossible, it happens, but it didn't mean anything, right? Mm -hmm. People did this as well. And, with and they shut out people like you. I mean, Especially with a like, name like uh, Barack Obama. <laughs> I can't believe he ever became president. The vast majority of people in these audiences are fine listening to me and disagreeing with me. It's a it's a heckling five percent. Yeah. That, that on the on the internet too. Talk. Appreciate you. You keep doing your important work. We'll keep having you on this show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah bring them back, man. Hey, hey right. Bob Costa. All right, here they are. She's always so glad to see Kate. Oh, I like her too. The immortal Bob Costas is over here. <laughs> the immortal. The issue, as I said, I most wanted to avoid, Biden's brain. Uh, <laughs> Biden's brain. If Biden's hubris is such that he doesn't understand the best interests of his party and, more important, his country, then he has to be shown the door. Yeah. Hell yeah. If Trump is a monster, and in many ways he is, you're going to send this guy out to slay the dragon? And, I don't and, think so. And by the way, he, he did not oh, on a promise. He said, I see myself as a bridge right. that's collapsing. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> but I see myself as a bridge. I read that as one term. And, and he could say, well, look, you know, I've had a health issue or whatever. I want to spend more time. He's not going to do that, man. He run much during the primaries. He doesn't have delegates. He takes it like an insult when, when people bring that up. We may not even get the big trial. The I tried to overthrow the government trial because the courts are moving too slow about it. So fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of those people, some of them were definitely there to stop that election. A lot of them were just like, oh, good, Trump, I love him. And, ooh, the Capitol's open now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, the MAGA cult, which is a coalition of the brainless, and when it comes to fellow Republicans, <laughs> the, the brainless. Spineless, Trump and what he represents must be repudiated. Not conservatism or republicanism. MAGA must be repudiated. And Biden ain't the man for that job. Well, no one's that. That. We live here, right? Oh, we yes. live in California. I was born here. In Oakland, they have Kaiser Hospital. Oakland, the hey. Was, That's where I'm the, from. The hospital put out a notice last week. Employees are not to leave for lunch. It's too dangerous right. in That's downtown right Oakland. There. That's on him. You want to be CEO? It's your problem. It's your death. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I hell yeah. I hell yeah. Quiet quitting in your relationship. Okay. How to, yeah, how to tell if your partner My is God. quiet quitting. I love this. Some of the ways. Look at some of the ways. We have these here. They deliberately spend time apart from you. Uh, they're not interested in what you're up to. Okay. They don't bother to argue with you. Oh, uh, and those are absolutely all the ways. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. We have some other ones. Of course he does. <laughs> Would you like to hear the other ones? I'm okay, like uh, you have dinner by phone light. <laughs> 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 
His favorite sex position is reverse mortgage. <laughs> what the hell? Um, you get home and find a path of rose petals that circle through the house and back out to your car. <laughs> <laughs> when you text I love you, they text back K. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Of course, the big Valentine story is Taylor Swift at the Super Bowl, yeah. and Bob, you've covered many Super Bowls. I have. This is a person who could literally swing the election. I don't know what that says about this country. This is someone who transcends parties. I mean, this is a country girl, right? Her first, she started yeah. out as a country artist. This is a white girl from Pennsylvania, I think, grew up on a farm, right? Mm -hmm. Never had a black boyfriend. Had... <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, there's, there's that's, time. that's true. There's time. But... They can have Taylor Swift. We've got. Yeah. You know, who, do we, who, who do we have? We, we've got who's the cat scratch fever guy. Ted Nugent. Ted, we got, Ted, we got Nugent. Ted Nugent. Yeah. Ted Nugent. Anything on Taylor Swift or yeah. you? But. You know. <laughs> <laughs> to compete in the Olympics because they're they prohibit trans people from competing unless they transition before the age of 12, which probably is not many of them. My God. Okay. Not She's, yet, anyway. Well, probably at yeah. the Olympics down the road, there might be more athletes that... Right, for the Penn's men's team. Yeah. She was on the men's team. In the three big ones, she came in 554th, 65th, and 32nd. So, not terrible, but mm -hmm. mediocre. Now, as a woman, first openly transgender, she won. Of course, number number one. One's, one score meets, not well, not others. And I mean, obviously, a lot of people are saying, "Is it fair? No, no. Is it fair to, fair. to make some a women biological no, it's to not. compete against some?" So I understand that when it comes to Olympic boxing, that federation will allow trans women to compete against biological women at at birth, biological women. That seems crazy. And you at know birth, biological told, women. It's not transphobic. <laughs> to, but if the worst guy at the end of the bench on the worst team in the NBA went to the WNBA and averaged 40 points a game, everybody knows that's bullshit. Right. So, Hell yeah. So, Somebody brought up a good point on the internet and they said, why can't you see, why haven't you seen um, a woman who uh, transitioned to a man go to a man's uh division sport division i think we all know why that wouldn't work out her son ethan uh mass shooting in the school did what a lot of kids do to these days shot up a bunch of kids in school killed four of them but here's the details that i guess influenced the court uh they bought him the gun why any kid needs a gun under 18 i don't know uh but he had texted his mom that he was seeing demons. Uh, his journal said, I have zero help with my mental problems, and it's going to cause me to shoot up the school. I mean, he turned in a math, this is a math homework, with pictures of blood on it. The thoughts won't stop. Jesus. Help me. Blood everywhere. My life is useless. Parenting. <laughs> Somebody has to say, yes, you're not, it's not against the law to be a, a shitty parent, but there are limits. Yeah. yeah. They should have seen it coming, man. How are you gonna buy someone like that a gun? The kid, the kid is, the kid is practically screaming at the top of his lungs. Right. Yeah. Just help me, stop me. He texted the mother, and the mother texted back about the guns. She got him the guns, and they were the teacher. Yeah. Contra the mother texted, "LOL, I'm not mad at you. You have to learn not to get caught." First of all, oh, that's oh my you god. All right, I gotta leave it there. You were great. Time for new rules. New rules, everybody. New rules. All right, new rules. The next time a toddler gets stuck inside one of those claw machines, oh my god, he must be left in there. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who lost sight of your kid long enough for him to climb inside a machine. Get a roll of quarters and win him back. <laughs> new rules. Stop asking me to prove I'm not a robot. Man, really. Uh, new World, this one goes out to Lucy, the Tennessee pit bull whose ear looks like a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> Get over yourself, bitch. And stop telling me the Chinese have some jet that could blow the doors off of ours. Boeing already does that. <laughs> Speaking of prostitutes, last August, Donald Trump. <laughs>
I could have been relaxing at Mar-a-Lago or in the south of France, which I would prefer being in this country, frankly. Again, I'm confused what? by this political message. Vote for me because I hate it here. Maybe the problem is that lots of people today are entitled whiners who have no perspective and no idea how good they have it. Whoa. And I see conservatives in Texas are talking secession again. They have two bumper stickers in that state. America, love it or leave it, and we're leaving it. <laughs> I'm 18 years old and I escaped America. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to escape America. That wall we're always debating isn't to keep you in. <laughs> Burundi's president called on his citizens to stone gay people and not in the good way. <laughs> Wow, suddenly the don't say gay law doesn't sound all that bad. <laughs> in Russia, just referring to the war in Ukraine as a war can get you 15 years in the fabulous prisons made famous by some of the world's most famous novels. The, the gulags. America's evil gulags. We did. Saudi Arabia, Nigeria, and Sudan still cut the hands off of thieves, so if you're coming from San Francisco, do your shoplifting at home. <laughs> oh, man. While I admire Amsterdam, I don't want to live there. <laughs> the buildings are cramped and shaped like needles. Jesus. The food is awful. The TV's in a different language. It's wet and cold. The people are polite but cold. And they do a bunch of weird shit. The explanation for, according to my friend, was, just remember, they're high. <laughs> Thank Caitlin Flanagan, Bob Costas. All right. Catch you on the next one, man.